there was a new skip found that's in this area that enables you to uh, skip to Sen's fortress without ringing the bells, which, as you can imagine, completely shifted the dynamic of the speedrunning community, which is the type of stuff that they they love. They love that kind of stuff. The blood looks interesting. I don't know why it's so striking. It might be because of the extra... Whoa. Sprinting around him then was not good. I don't know why. It was really awkward. I think it's because of the lock-on and the sprint and the relationship between the two in this game is... is not great. It's one of the things I would have loved them to change, but they didn't. Should we try and sneak up on the boulder? I'm normally not very good at this, especially on my analogs. But it worked out. You want to preempt the backstab there too, because he will turn around, and he oftentimes turns around at times you're not really expecting. Interesting. He lost the draw. So there's the knight shield that way. I don't need shields, though, for uh, any of the achievements. I do need the halberd, though. So, good idea to come this way. But be very careful, because you can trigger... You can trigger more boulder knights if you're not careful. It's a basement key. And then the halberd. Oh, you can see that dude up there. Interesting. Yeah, see what I mean? He has quite a long leash rate, this guy. He also has the shield and the sword that became increasingly more popular thanks to Mr. Epic Name Bro. Epic Name Bro's influence was felt in the community, because uh, that shield is amazing. And that weapon has really good range for its pokes. So, the guy on the right, if you hit this wall, will look your way. And then if you poke yourself out, he'll come this way. That will help you avoid the, the trap that they're trying to set. There's his back, back jump. Two hits to the rapier lancing. Pretty simple stuff. And then back to the boulder variant. A lot of recovery on the... Oh, whoa! Why did he... I think that was the range of my weapon. But that was his guard break that you witnessed just then, his shield bash. Hey, we got the boulder leggings. I always wanted to like this piece of armor, but it looks like shit. It truly does. Just kind of looks garbage, right? Doesn't fit well. But I'll put them on just for the sake of putting them on. Something I would never normally do. So, of course, there's a channeler above us, and there is a Berenique Knight in front, so we're not going to uh, fuck with those two guys together. We're going to lead this guy out here, which is the best place to fight him. You can parry this enemy, but you cannot repost the origins of that mess, which I've never been the biggest fan of. That's his big slam. This guy's got tons of recovery. Does a lot of uh, shield bashing and horizontal thrusts. Big hit. Big window to be hit. Big slash into the ground. Second hit. Ooh, nice tracking, dog. And he chugs, so I'll chug as well. Good lad. I'm way stronger than he is at this moment, so it's not much of a fair fight. But he gives me a titty shard, and I like tits. So let's move on. We can grab the... Firekeeper spirit. Oh, Firekeeper soul, sorry. My uh, celestial terminology is a bit lacking. And then we can uh, go back to the asylum. Which is kind of what we were trying to do in this episode anyway. Because I want to bleed the stray demon. And he's probably going to kill me because it's been a long time since I fought him. And he's not a difficult fight, but when you're rusty, everything can be a difficult fight. Oh, I'm looking the wrong way too. <laughs> That's cool. Can you go back up, please? Fuck. Thank you. I'm here all week, guys. This is a point. This is a jump that's difficult to make in the uh, the remake of this game. 
but apparently, I say the remake, in the, uh, with the DS fix, that jump is nigh impossible to make. I don't know why exactly it is. It's something to do with the diff... Am I fat rolling? I'm mid rolling. Ooh. No, 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 no. I want the, uh, the, the garbage boots on. I'm still mid rolling. Oh, no, no, no. We got it. We got it. There you go. So you can get the key and then get back up to the area that you need to get to the, the crow by doing what I did just then. This is all common knowledge. I'm certain you've seen it before. If not, you just learnt something new, which is cool, but I'm under the, no illusion that this game is well versed now. Everybody knows everything about it, right? But once upon a time, that wasn't the case. I'm just really looking forward to when we can get this game on an emulator. Like, if the PS3 emulator gets up and running and is, is super easy and awesome and everything. Because then I can fuck about with save states, because I just... For somebody who is such an experienced and loves the Soul series, there's aspects of its design that I hate. And if I could mitigate that, then that would be fantastic. I really don't like coming back to the asylum, uh, the very first area of it, because it's now populated with hollows that have torches, and the torch hollow is one of the biggest knobheads you'll ever meet. He's just bad news bears. He He's the thing that will kill you here more so than most things, so uh, I'm probably going to use some pyromancy for the sake of this. Which... Oh wow, you've not seen me use pyromancy that much in my runs because... It's a little bit too strong, actually. Uh, you don't have to do what I did just then. You can bait them to the walls and then hit them through the walls. That is definitely a strategy that's very effective. You can bait their attacks, dodge them, and then punish. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can give the crow something that will give me twinkling, right? I don't know what it is, though. I think it's the... The spotted moss I don't have any of. It might be prism stones. I used to have this shit memorized a long time ago. I wonder if the egg vermifuge does something. Like, I know transient curse does something if you give it a transient curse. But because I've got it equipped, I can't drop it, I think. Need to be careful here too, because I might kill myself by uh, trying to do this shit. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Transient Curse doesn't do anything, my bad. What does this do then? I know this does something. There are lists on- look at this garbage. No, you have to reset it then. So, I don't want to fuck with that guys when I'm recording. I'm going to come back and do that off camera. There's two fresh hollows in this room, right? Yeah. And then there is the floor trap, which uh, you either know about or you don't. That was fantastic. Notice how they don't trip the floor trap. <clears throat> nice double standard from soft. And now the enemies in this area have been replaced with considerably more dangerous ones. If you're a good player and confident in your abilities, do not hit the bonfire here. Do everything you need to do and then Homeward Bone away. It will skip the tedium of having to exit. And if you hit the bonfire and all that kind of stuff, it will uh, mean that you don't have to refight the flame hollows that will guard the exit. Okay. So, single Black Knight. Very dangerous opponent. Behind him is an item we need to get into an optional location in the game. Well, apparently I've still got some parry timings down, which is nice to see, but... It's not exactly the most impressive thing in the world, if you've done it before. You don't have to parry these guys. If you're not good at the parry, you can go for the backstab. That will work too. And then you can run to his other side and then chain backstab him, like I did with the other fella. But it all depends on how good you are at the game and your understanding of it. To do what I just did to him then, 
might look like the most impressive thing you've ever seen, but to somebody who knows what they're doing, it's nothing. It's like fighting a hollow. There's the peculiar doll. And in there is uh, our opponent coming up. So good to uh, get rid of Mr. Knight. And there is a second knight where we got our shield from. Our shield and our weapon. Who can drop some good stuff. He can drop chunks, feasibly. He probably won't, because they generally don't. It's quite a rare one. But they can. I got a red chunk, which is awesome if you're going to go down the... I think it's the fire upgrade path. Which early on can be quite interesting, but you probably won't get enough, unless you get really lucky, to do anything with it. Such is the game, right? Get your shield. And now here is our uh, other friend. Looking really strange. They always popped in the strangest manner that the Black Knights in this section, just because of the lighting. The lighting was so... That was garbage. Is it because we're not on the right level with each other? Oh no, I wasn't close enough when I tried to repost, I guess. You can attack him when he stands up. But it can... It can lead to odd timings that mean that you'll miss what you're trying to do. So, just be careful, is the moral of that st Why did that seem super slow, then? Whoa, why was the repost in slow motion? That was weird. That seemed mad. Wow, two red chunks. I suppose that might be less rare than I thought it was. I can't remember. And now we get to fight this knobhead, who... This guy could actually kill me. So... Can I get him hit by the trap? That'd be cool. That sounded like it hit him, right? Oh my god, he's got he's got poise. Yeah. The things you forget, right? The things you, Oh fuck you. There we go. God fighting NPCs in this game was fucking sweet. I had so much fun. They missed that. They missed the mark so completely with the sequels, it's it's painful to remember just how sweet it used to be and how bad it is now. Right. So the one dude's still hanging around. Nice laggy backstab, buddy. Right, and then it's just the standard scrubs. Hi. Imagine if you could cut the arrow out of, out of air, out of the air. I'm cutting arrows out of air. I'm such a good player. And then there's two. What? Do the red eyes mean anything in this game? I don't think they do, right? That was bad. Fucking pinned me against the wall with shitty collision. Bye. And this is going to lead to the rusted ring, right? Rusted iron ring. I've not picked this thing up in the longest time. Because you just kind of don't really need to unless, you know, you're exploring. But for the purposes of this run, um, we're going to be exploring. You might wonder why I didn't put the wolf ring on. It's because uh, I'd prefer to toggle than uh, rely on it. Which is not the smartest decision, but it's a decision. And then we get this fun fight. Which the hardest part of this fight is the very beginning. Closing the distance to him. And not getting hit by... Sh oh, whoa! What? That's new. They've given it a visual representation. They've given that a visual representation. How, how bizarre. I don't want him to be where he is. It's, uh, it's not good. That's bad. Oh wow, look how late it is! We always knew it was late. But to see it is another thing. That's crazy. That's crazy too. The camera is... Look at it, dude! Gosh, that's so strange.
That's so weird. It's cool though. I like that because now you can finally see just how stupid and crap that move is. When we all we always knew. Always knew. Look at it! He's gonna do the hand, right? No? Not a good position to be in right here. He's gonna try and do the hand now. Oh shit. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that Dark Souls 1 does badly. And you forget, you forget just how much it affects things. But it's still such an exceptional game. For some cool reasons. He's gonna try and do it there, right? No. There's the ground pound. The pillar thing as well. What's with the pillar thing? Does everything have to have fucking pillars? That do nothing but make it harder for the player to do what he needs to do? Classic music. Interesting, I thought he was going to do the hand move then. You might be saying, Chris, why are you taking such a large radius from the jump? It's just the game, guys. The game is not honest with its jump attacks. And it's just the smartest thing to do. That should give me, what, 10,000 souls? It might even give you 20, actually. I think it gives you 20, right? We'll see. Show me. Show me. 20, yeah. So all you need to do is come back and kill him. And you can get into the... Uh, you can get into Dark Root. You can get the crest. And that's what you need. I already had 10,000 because of our little farming adventure. But if you need more money and you don't want to farm, you could always go and uh, kill Pinwheel. I think Pinwheel gives you like 10 to 15,000, something like that. It also enables you to go to Vamos, and Vamos is going to let you uh, wreck house, basically. Which is really nice. Yeah, the fucking hollows are back. Ugh. These will probably kill me. So. I'm going to be a bitch. Oops. Second, that wasn't good. That wasn't good either. Not aimed pyromancy in a long time. It's nice when they jump because you can interrupt them like that. But if they don't jump and they do the flurry, one of their fastest attacks, that thing counter hits like a phenom. That's not even mentioning the, the hyper armor that they can get because their poise is essentially endless at certain times. Which is really bizarre. It's kind of it to keep ferrying us though, isn't it? Keeps turning up and taking us and turning up and taking us. God, this game, dude. Where's the Dark Soul of today, right? Where's this game coming out now? That's this interesting and this different and this special. And I don't mean a soul sequel, because that shit doesn't count. I mean an actual new IP that does what this did. Because let's face it, right? Demon Souls was the first game, but because it was only on PlayStation, there was a massive market of people that never played it, so they didn't really understand anything about it. But then Dark Souls came along, and it just changed everything. And, ooh, god, the frame rate dies there. That's weird. Doesn't like filing for some reason. I don't know. Oh, I know why I'm doing this. I'm gonna rest here. And then I'm gonna go and. Something I'm gonna need to do on this playthrough as well, guys, is I'm gonna need to summon for bosses. And I know you probably just spat your coffee, right? Because you know who I am and what I've done and, and how I feel about that. But to get sunlight medals without having to farm them or do uh, specific cooperative stuff 
I'm going to be so summoning everybody's favourite buddy, Mr. Solaire. And he's going to make a lot of things a lot easier than they should be. Some stuff he's going to make harder. Petrus of Thoroughland. Can I buy some shit from you? You have to talk to him a bunch, right, for him to be like, Oh yes, we can be friends. Here's a copper coin. I'm totally not going to kill Rhea later on because I'm a guilty bitch. Uh, that might have been a mistake. Yes, I changed my mind, sorry. This is the way of the white, right? And then I can get the uh, the achievement for being in the way of the white. And then I can buy the, the ship from him. Covenant established. Ooh, he's got a- Whoa, dude! You dirty bastards! Look how expensive this trash is! I'm not spending this. I'll come back for that. Do the talismans count as weapons? I can't remember. I need to learn gestures, too. Interesting. Because you can- Can you miss gestures? I think you can miss gestures, can't you? So I'm gonna- I have to do New Game Plus, and New Game Plus 2, to get all the Artorias souls needed. To make all the weapons, because you have to make two Artorias swords and one shield. So it's not the end of the world, but... There's a lot of stuff I've forgotten, because I used to be able to 1000G this game in a run. In like, in a sitting. Because I just had that stuff down. The only stuff I couldn't get, obviously, was the, some of the farming that you need to do for some of the weapons and that. That obviously, like the channel is trident, uh, trident, sorry. That dude's a, a, a bitch and really, really difficult to... To get shit for. But if you kill him once, maybe you'll get it, right? That's how it works. There's a lot of stuff like that in this game. The Boulder Knights, straight sword. We're gonna need that as well. And the farming in this game is is a lot better when you've of course got gear for it. I could talk to Onion Bro out there. Yeah, see if he's there. Should be there, right? Good old Sense Fortress. But yeah, guys, I've never played this game. Am I doing okay? First time in Dark Souls. I'm enjoying it. It's pretty cool, right? It feels somewhat familiar. Like, it feels like a game I played back in maybe 2012, 2013. So, it's weird. It's weird how uh, familiar I am with this game. You can't learn anything from him just yet. Still closed. But when I ring the bells, he will. And you know the time it took me to farm? The fucking Ghost Blade? I could have beat the game. If I was trying to, because I've uh, I might not have ever played it before, but it's dead similar to a game I've played before uh, quite a lot. So it's kind of funny how that works, right? God, the D pad is garbage. I hate it. By the way, don't kill this guy. Just don't. Stop getting all fancy thoughts about delusions of grandeur. Do not kill him. He's a nice man. Very nice man. Shall I die to this guy? Do I have a choice? I want him to do it again instead of moving forward. That's good. Because that means when he does jump, and he will jump, but he didn't. Oh, there's his big swing. Dude, the horizontals in this game. Whoa, that was weird. That looked awful. Horizontals in this game are terrifying because the detection on everything is terrifying. This is fast enough now to intervene with their attacks, which is great. I want to try and get some uh, spotted moss, dark root garden. Be careful too, doing uh, too many attacks on some of these enemies because you can put yourself like he just did and fall down. It's not a, it's not a death though. Technically, some of these falls, some of these falls will put you to a certain part of the game. Here he comes. No idea what he's doing. I love how his, his invincible animation gave me enough time to get my stamina back and shit on him. Ooh, that's that's something. I should probably grab the Grass Crest Shield. But there's a, a Black Knight down there who could be a dick. But it will definitely help with the stamina. And I'm not wearing Cl Cl Cloranthi. There's no fucking point. Oh my god, I didn't buy the crest! Fuck, I'm stupid. It's been a while. Sorry about that, guys. I have to go back. But the good news is I need to uh, get some moss anyway, so... We'll just call this farming. This is just farming. I didn't make a mistake. I've done nothing wrong. 
just like Darkseid Phil, who for some reason gets some of the most views and most attention when he plays Souls games and he's not playing the remaster. I don't want to play the remaster, and I'm playing the fucking remaster, and he's the biggest, greediest, dirtiest, money-hungry whore on the internet, and he's not. It's an interesting integrity you got there, Mr. Philip, but it's a bad idea for business. There we go, blooming purple moss clump, that's what we needed. And there's one more fella just here. Maybe he'll drop us one as well. There we go. And then we can get the Hornet Ring, which will be sweet. And I will be wearing the Hornet Ring because it's sexy. I'd love to mess around doing uh, post parry ring swaps and stuff. But unfortunately, with this D pad, I'm just going to get really frustrated. I could use my Cronus Max and plug in a different controller. But that takes effort, and I'm not that bothered. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I knew I had to do something, but I couldn't remember what. So, now we've bought this, souls are not a problem, because you might be wondering, well, why is Chris doing this? I'm doing it, guys, because... <coughs> Excuse me. It leads to a farming spot that I want to test. A farming spot that was kind of ridiculous. I'm also going to be super lazy here, so I apologize in advance. Come on! God! I hate it so much. There we go. And then I'm going to spend my souls just in case I get fucked up in this forest. Jesus Christ, look at the levels. 2020. Not really. Because if I do find a different weapon, I am tempted to uh, to go with it. I could just do, like, nothing but strength. <laughs> Get 99 strength by the end of the game, and it does nothing because this weapon has an E scaling. That could be stupid enough for me to do it. That's like leveling resistance. And I'm not above leveling resistance. What does this do? That's weird. I don't remember that being in the menu. I don't think it was in the menu. Right, are there any crystal lizards in this area? Uh, no, but there's the Eastern Armour set, and that thing looks fucking sweet. Stamina's quite low, though. So, when you first enter this area, there is some, uh, some NPCs who... One of them is invisible. And there's this wonderful cheesy spot that can help you deal with them, because they're actually quite strong. And I wonder if it still works. Is this still going to happen? Yeah, this is still going to happen. Oh my goodness. So they didn't change that then. That's good to know. Did he not give me any soul? Oh no, he did, he did. He gave me souls. Interesting. Then we have the spellcaster. And then there is the mage lady over on the right, so that's not changed. And then there is the uh, the dickhead. So he's not changed. They've not changed. She's not changed. The more things change, the more the soul arrow hits the back of my head. Kills me instantly. But this is about as OG as it gets. This is the best farming spot for souls in the entire game at this moment. There's nothing else that can really compare to this outside of killing the Skeleton, the baby skeletons in Nito's room, but you can't get there yet. Uh, this is a problem, of course, if he starts doing this. But you can, that's the heavy soul spear. You can disincentivize him by moving forward, and he'll come and kill himself like a good boy. There you go. And then the last guy, who is uh, one of the stronger guys, is, is doing a, a, d a weird route over here for some reason. I've never seen this before. And over there, where he is going, leads to. Um, the NPC that I believe is called Faris, and isn't it another invisible Claymore guy? Will you not kill yourself, dude? That's an... yeah. Could have parried that. But I think I don't have the damage to... Oh no, that's not so bad. This guy shouldn't have too much poise either. Didn't bleed though, did he? See you later. 
still think that repost in the uh, in the asylum seemed really slow, and I don't exactly know why. So what's the souls I'm getting? I've got nine thousand now. Did I get it from him? Because I think it's like three two two something like that. The souls are not astronomical, but if you farm them for long enough, they are. Of course, you can do glitches and things that are faster, but this is without glitches. The grave of Sir Artorius. Yes. Alvina. Yep. Give me my achievement, bitch. Stupid big cat. I like throwing firebombs at. She doesn't like me though when I do that. She's got to stick up her ass, I think. And then we can get the weapon that I've been wanting, or the item that I've been wanting from Shiva's bodyguard. So this is Shiva's bodyguard. He's invisible because he's using the fog ring. He has the Darkwood Grain Ring, and if you knock him off the edge without aggroing him, you can get it. Of course, it aggroes Mr. Shiva, who's not so pleased at my efforts to uh, hurt his friend. We didn't do the spin. There's a big spinning attack. There it is. The Murakumo is a cool weapon. This guy has a lot of armor on. Ooh, but his HP is not so great. And immediately I've aggroed them. If I did not attack, I would not have aggroed them. And I would have been okay to continue to be uh, a forest invader man. That felt weird. I tried to die. I just tried to roll diagonally. You can't do that when you're locked on in these games. That's his uh, heavy attack just then. Ooh, the second one was much slower than I remember. Having a good old-fashioned slugfest, I guess we are. Sorry, Shiva. Ooh, I got some humanities and his Murakumo, which we needed. But I cannot buy the Iato from Blight Town now because I've just killed him, so that I have to find it in Blight Town. But guess what, guys? I'm gonna do Blight Town in this run. I know, right? Stupid of me. But this ring is too important not to save quit, so we're safe quitting. <laughs>